Okay, guys, uh, welcome to Teen, Teen Talk, day six, pregnancy options. Día seis, opciones de embarazo. So what are pregnancy options? They're uh, your decisions. What are you going to do? So we've been talking about uh, how to avoid getting pregnant. Um, maybe, uh, not maybe, with condoms, um, medicine like uh, the after day pill, uh, hormones for women, girls, uh, and also there's uh, some other things like pulling out, pulling out. They're not recommended because they're not 100% safe. Uh, condoms are not 100% safe. It can rip. It doesn't work. Things can happen, okay? So, but let's say you did get pregnant. The girls, you did get pregnant with uh, with your boyfriend uh, as a teen. So we're going to talk about that today, okay? What are your options? Okay, what are your options? And I know there's many uh, moms in my class. There's a couple moms in my classes. So it's just good to, it's good information to know, you know? All right, it's just good information. But uh, stay in school. That's what I'm here for. I want to encourage the girls to stay in school. So decía que hay muchas uh, estudiantes que ya tienen hijos, ya tienen babies, y quiero que se queden en la escuela y sigan adelante. Okay? All right. The agreements. Acuerdos. Respect. Uh, microphones are off. And if you do say something, please be respectful. And the chat's open. Be respectful there too, please, or I'll kick you out. Confidentiality. Reporting, if you have a problem, an issue, including you're pregnant and don't know what to do, uh, the school can help you out, okay? Communication, uh, so we're learning Communi by communication. Ask questions, the anonymous uh, page is open, okay? Okay, so what are your values around pregnancy options? What are values again? Remember, guys, the first day we talked about values. That is who you are. Quien eres tú? That could be your culture, as in like your uh, African American, your Hispanic, your Asian. It doesn't matter. All cultures are different. Families are different. Maybe your religion. Uh, maybe you're Christian, maybe you're atheist, you're Catholic. So everything depends on who, on you. Okay. So what are your decisions about your pregnancy and what are your options? Okay. ¿Cuáles son tus valores sobre las opciones de embarazo? ¿Quién eres tú y cuáles son tus decisiones? Okay. So remember guys, uh, this conversation, it's informative. But for some, it can be pretty, you know, uh, strong. So drink water. Drink lots of water. Hmm. Deep breathing. Do deep breathing. When you feel stressed, what I like to do is just lay on the floor, in the carpet, just lay on the floor, and just deep breathe a couple times with some background music that I usually put at the end of class or before, I usually put that to relax, you know. All right, let's continue. Pregnancy options. Pregnancy options. So what are your options? Okay. All of these options are legally available to people of all ages in California. So we're going to talk about a lot of options. And uh, they're all legal, okay? Todas estas opciones son legalmente disponibles para todos, todas personas de cualquier edad en California. Okay. Okay. So, pregnant teens do not need to get their parents or, no, their partners or parents' permission to choose any of these options. So, this is for my girls, for my students. Um... Whenever you get pregnant, is it now as a teen or when you're married, it doesn't matter. It is only your option. It is only for your decision. 
So nobody can tell you what to do with what you're going to do with your baby. Okay. Nobody. Um, it's only you, only the mom. But it is a good idea to talk with your partner, family, and friends for support in making the best decision, decisions for them. Okay. So maybe you're confused. You're like, ah, oh, I can't believe I got, uh, the, the girl said, I can't believe uh, I got pregnant. The girl said, and um, so maybe you're confused, you're sad, you're angry, you don't know what to do. Talk to people, okay? Get information. So that's what we're here for, to learn. Estaba diciendo que no más es la decisión de la persona embarazada para poder hacer lo que ella quiere con el baby, okay? No es la decisión de nadie más, no más de la que está embarazada. Okay. Pero habla con familia para saber qué hacer. Okay. All right. Your options. Options. Okay. Uh, parenting. So have the baby. That's one of your options. Just have the baby, a normal baby. Re okay. What resources does a person need to care for a baby? What are the resources? Okay. Recursos. Uh, physical resources. Food, milk, diapers. Um, some people choose not to breastfeed. Uh, and that's okay. We have formula now. But you know, a baby is healthier, grows up healthier when they're breastfed. Okay. Even, even pets. If you have a pet and they never got breastfed from the mom, they can be sick for the rest of their lives in a way. I have a cat. I have a cat that's always been sick because we adopted it and the baby never got uh, breastfed. So it's always sick now. Uh, safe places to live. Make sure to have a safe place. Un lugar seguro. No, y se me olvidó decir comida, leche, pañales. Okay, diapers can be very expensive. Uh, reliable transportation. Maybe your family, if you're a teen, maybe your family, your, your, your partner can take you to the clinic, to the store. Uh, healthcare, insurance, it's free. Okay. Talk to somebody if you don't know how to get it. We've been talking about that before. Healthcare. Childcare, babysitters, maybe your brother or sisters, a friend can help you take care of the baby when you can. Money. It's very important to have a baby. Money, dinero, okay? And don't forget emotional resources. So, recursos emocionales, support system, okay? And uh, just throw, I threw a picture in there, a week. So, a lot of moms have week, women, infant, child care. They give you food if you need food because food can be pretty expensive. Okay, so there's so many resources for pregnant women, especially for teens. If you want to keep the baby, uh, there's so many resources. Okay, so, but we're also going to talk about what's not. So, hay muchos recursos para las personas adolescentes que se embarazan. Okay, muchos recursos. Okay, who could be a part of someone's support system? A support system, un sistema de apoyo. Huh. Who can, who can, who can uh, my girlfriend talk to if she gets pregnant? Let's see. Uh, partner, that's, uh, the, the, it takes two to make a baby. Remember, it takes two to make a baby. Uh, unless you're Virgin Mary. But uh, it takes two. So a partner is very important. Uh, I've seen a lot of teen shows where Couples get pregnant, teens get pregnant, and the man stands up, you know, he, st he, he takes that responsibility, he gets a job. Don't quit school, though. Don't quit school. Please. Don't quit school. No. Okay. Parents, your, your parents, your guardians, uh, who, people you live with, your siblings, hermanos, hermanas. Uh, extended family, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, abuelo, abuela. So many people can help. 
uh, friends, amigos, amigas. Um, support groups. So um, there's little groups that you can join on Facebook, Instagram. Team parents, they help each other out, you know, resources. Hay muchos apoyos, uh, grupos de apoyos en el, la rueda social que te pueden ayudar. Counselor, therapist at school, they can help you. If you get pregnant by accident, right now it's a little tough because the quarantine and COVID, but when it opens, you know. So la escuela te puede ayudar, los consejeros, terapistas, okay. So options, parenting. What should a pregnant person take care of their body? What should a, what should a pregnant person do to take care of their body and develop feet? Uh, develop and developing fetus, huh? So the parents shouldn't, the pregnant lady shouldn't drink, smoke. Uh, alguien que está embarazado no tiene que fumar. Uh, tomar, fumar. Sorry, announcements. All right, guys. So parental care. Uh, regular visits with a medical provider. So if you're pregnant, go to the hospital, to the clinic, oftenly. Make sure your baby is good, it's safe, it's healthy. So vayan a la clinica um, frecuentemente, okay, frequently. Parental vitamin, uh, prenatal vitamins, vitaminas. This is to care, to care for the, if you're pregnant. Uh, eating healthy, comer saludable. Eating healthy, just because you're pregnant or you have cravings, doesn't mean you can stuff your face all day long with bad food, bad food. So no más porque estás embarazada, no quiere decir que te puedes uh, comer lo que tú quieras. Uh, so what's bad food? Greasy food, salt seafood, sugars, uh, oily food. It's really unhealthy for the baby and for you. Okay, so if you're if if you're a guy listening and your girlfriend gets pregnant, make sure encourage her to eat healthy, uh, because they you can get really sick when you're pregnant. Uh, maybe the baby can come out uh, obese. Okay, there can be a lot of issues if you don't eat healthy. Comen, por favor, coman bien cuando están embarazados. Coman bien, okay? No comen cochinero, grasas, azúcar, mucha sal, okay? It's not good for the baby. No es bueno para el baby, okay? Light exercise, ejercicios suaves. Take a walk in the house. You know, maybe you can uh, get, do, move your arms, do some yoga, you know? I know that when you're pregnant, your back can hurt. So maybe like, you know, stretch, stretch. I know you, you can be in pain, but you know, you gotta try, try to move around, you know? Tell your partner to help you out. Maybe give you a massage if you're feeling achy. Uh, tell them to man up uh, your partner and maybe your family too, they can help you. So decía que uh, hagan un poco de ejercicios cuando están embarazadas. Porque ya sé que tu, la espalda puede doler. Estírense. Uh, haz a tu pareja que te masaje. You know? Que se ponga las pilas. Y, y que sea un hombre. Okay? Avoid drinking alcohol. Smoking. Drugs. Intense physical activities like roller coasters. The baby can pop out. I'm just joking. Uh, no, no, I don't know. Uh, so if you do these things, the drugs, the smoking, the drinking, the baby can come out with disabilities. Okay. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where people come out with disabilities because they drink, smoke, do drugs. Sometimes the, the mom doesn't even know she's pregnant and she's still drinking or smoking, okay? So decía que uh, evitar tomar y fumar, hacer drogas. 
porque había veces que las mamás están embarazadas y no saben y siguen tomando, bebiendo, fumando. Y puede salir con deshabilidades el baby. Okay? So no drinking, smoking, doing drugs while pregnant, please. And uh, no roller coasters or maybe like in a trampoline or something like that. Oh, the lights. All right, pregnancy options, parenting. Okay, so we're talking about that there's options. There is you having the baby. There is also abortion. Abortion. So it is legal in California to have an abortion. Okay. It is legal to have in California an abortion. And only the mom, only the pregnant person can decide to have an abortion. The boyfriend, the husband cannot make you get an abortion. They cannot. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you can have an abortion through medication or surgical. Okay. Oh, here is the information for abortion. Abortion is legal in California. Aborción, el aborto es legal in California. Both for teens and adults. Uh, you have the right to get an abortion for any reason until approximately six months after you become pregnant. If it's more, there's complications. Antes de seis meses está, está seguro, pero después de seis puede haber complicaciones. Okay. There's also adoption, putting the baby for adoption, open or close. We're going to talk about that right now. También puedes poner el baby para adopción. Okay. Okay. So which type of adoption is more common? Open or closed adoptions? What is that? Let's see what that is. So which one is more common? So open adoptions are more common. We're going to find out right now what open and closed adoptions are, okay? Here it goes. So open versus closed adoption. So an open adoption is you, the, the teenager or the person has contact with the adopted parents and child through letters, photos, emails, calls, and in-person visits. So, adopción abierta es cuando la persona que tiene el baby tiene derechos para ver a su hijo o hija. Okay? So, let's pretend that you got pregnant and your neighbor is having a heart. They just can't have kids. They can't have kids. They're, um, they're already, already tried for years. They just can't. They want to adopt. So, this is perfect for you. So, basically, you, when the baby's born, you give the baby to your neighbor that they can have kids and you can visit them. Okay. So, decía que, por ejemplo, tu vecino o vecina no pueden tener babies y decides darles el baby. Y tú puedes visitar el baby. That's open adoption. Semi-open. Semi. Uh, some contact with the adopted parents and or child via letters or photos. But usually not calls or visits. Okay. So, um, maybe you are okay. You know the parents. You don't want to visit the baby. You don't want them to get attached to you, you know. So decía que um, les das a tu hijo a, o hija adopción, pero no quieres contacto, no más quieres cartas, fotos, you know. No quieres que te acerque contigo mucho. Close adoption is no contact with the child or adopted parents. None. So, uh, this is more common. Open is more common, okay, for teens. So, uh, cerrado, adopción cerrada es que no sabes nada de nadie. No sabes del baby, de quien adoptó nada, okay? All right. So, we have parenting, abortion, adoption, open, close, and safe surrender. 
this is similar to closed ad adoption. Safe surrender, entrega segura. And this can happen um, 14 days after you give the, if you're, you deliver the baby, okay? Uh, entrega segura es cuando puedes entregar al baby para adopción después de 14 días. Maybe you're just not ready. You thought you were, but you're just not. And it's just emergency. All right. Adoption plan versus safe heaven surrender. Okay. So safe surrenders. Does the birth mother receive counseling? Nope. Adoption plan? Yes. You can read through this. It's just a little long, so I'm not going to read through it. Uh, can the birth parents choose the family and leave off openness they want to have? The baby goes to a foster family with social services. Okay. So this, uh, the person will not know who adopted. So it's basically a closed adoption. Closed. Um, the birth parents can choose the family and determine how involved they want to remain in their child's life. So a surrender is like emergency. Es emergencia, cuando dejas tu baby. Okay? So that's like a close adoption. It's like emergency, like, oh, okay. Maybe you just, you got depressed. You just, you know, there's that. When uh, a mom has a baby, they get depressed. They don't want to think with the baby. They might hurt the baby. They just give it up by emergency. Okay. So hay veces que las mamás tienen babies y se ponen deprimidas y, y no quieren lastimar al baby. Okay. But uh, adoption plan is much more safer. Look, you can read through all these. Okay. Will the baby be able to begin bonding with the adopted family right away? Yes, for adoption, when you give somebody you know, you know them. So it's safer for the baby. But when it's surrender the baby, you don't know what happens to the baby. You don't know who's going to foster them. That's why there's so many foster kids, foster students. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, so this is a short video. Short video. I already have it pulled up. Am I sharing sound? Yes. It's like a recap. I don't know what's wrong with me lately. I just, I feel nauseated and I'm so tired all the time. Ooh. Wow, that's a good pickle. Nauseated? Tired? Pickles. I know what's going on here. Sex can and should feel good, both physically oh, and emotionally. But sex can also bring concern and worry. Unprotected sex can lead to unplanned pregnancy. If you know someone who's had unprotected sex or they missed their period after having sex, they may be pregnant. Other signs of pregnancy may include sore breasts, nausea or vomiting, mood swings, or feeling very tired. Although having some of these symptoms does not necessarily mean a person is pregnant. To find out if your friend is pregnant, they can take a home pregnancy test. These tests are available in grocery stores, drug stores, and local family planning clinics like Planned Parenthood. To take a pregnancy test correctly, make sure to read and follow the directions that come inside the package. Most simply require that the person pees on the stick. If the test is negative, your friend should watch for their period. They may want to take another test in a few days just to make sure. If the home pregnancy test is positive, or if your friend's normal period does not return within four weeks, it's important that they talk with a trusted adult and visit a healthcare provider or a family planning clinic you trust. Be aware that there are some clinics that trick women into coming to them for pregnancy options counseling, but then do not accurately provide all of the information or talk honestly about all of the options open to a pregnant person. There are three options open to a person who finds themselves pregnant. Becoming a parent, putting the child up for adoption, and aborting the pregnancy. Option one is to continue the pregnancy and parent the baby. This is a tough road, especially if the person is still a teenager or in school. 
Yet many teens and young adults become great parents and are able to finish school with help from their families. Option two is to give birth to the baby and then place the baby up for adoption. Adoption is when another person or family takes someone else's baby into their home to raise them as their own child. Option three is the option of ending the pregnancy, also called having an abortion. An abortion is a medical procedure done by a healthcare provider that ends a pregnancy once it has started. Abortions are not available everywhere, and in many places, a parent or guardian must sign for a teenager to get one. Each decision has its challenges and advantages, and while lots of people may have an opinion, the only person who can truly decide which one is right for them is the person who is pregnant. This is for the baby. Um, what baby? You're having a baby! You had all the symptoms! You mean all the symptoms of a bad cafeteria sandwich? Till next time, don't forget to visit me at amaze.org or go to my YouTube channel to watch more. Bye. Okay. So that was just a recap of what your options are. Stay in school though. Stay in school. Don't just drop out because you have a baby, okay? I know a lot of students that have babies and they stay in school, they graduate, they get a career. So your life is not over, okay? And convince your girlfriends to stay in school. All right. Okay. Which option is most common for pregnant teens? Which is the option, which one is more common? Let's see. So is it parenting, abortion, safe surrender, or for adoption? Leave it for adoption. So 59% have the baby, teen parents. So I know students that have babies and they're great parents. Stay in school. Uh, 25, get abortion. They're just not ready yet. Maybe when I get older, I'll have, when I'm ready, I'll have my baby. Uh, less than 1%, they leave their babies for open adoption or closed, including surrender, okay? What about 15%? Miscarriage. So that is a pretty sad, but uh, sometimes you get miscarriages, even late in the pregnancy, okay? Maybe life just didn't want you to have that baby yet, you know? It's trying to tell you something. Okay, everything happens for a reason. Everything. Okay? Everything happens for a reason. Okay. No easy decision. Your job is not to decide what they should do. They. So somebody that's pregnant. So if you're a boyfriend or your girlfriend got pregnant, it's not your choice. It's only hers, okay? She should decide what she wants to do with the baby. Your job is to brainstorm reasons, pros and cons, why might they choose, might choose each pregnancy option, okay? So your girlfriend got pregnant. You can't tell her what to do, but you can, Tell her, hey, these are your options if you have, or even parents can tell you that. These are your options. If you have the baby, this and this is going to happen. If you don't have the baby, this and this is going to happen. Options. Okay. Opciones. Nadie te puede decir que, que, que puedes tener tu baby o no. no. Tu pareja tampoco. Nomás te pueden decir que, cuáles son las razones que, es, que vas a tener y... ¿Cuál es? ¿Qué va a pasar si no lo tienes, el baby? ¿Ok? ¿Sí o no? ¿Sí o no? Yes or no? Yes or no? All right, I'm almost done, guys. Almost done. And girls. Ok, 16-year-old high school student recently became sexually active with her boyfriend. They were using a condom, but it broke. Remember, guys, condoms are not 100%. Unfortunately, they can break, there can be accidents. Pulling out is also not 100%. As a result, she is pregnant. 
They did not know about taking the emergency contraception pill to help prevent pregnancy after birth control failure. Okay, so 16 year old. A lot of you girls are 16 year old, younger. And let's say one of you got pregnant. You don't know. That's why we're teaching you guys about this, girls and guys, so that you can learn how to protect yourself, okay? How to protect yourself. And if it doesn't work, after day pill. If it doesn't work, uh, what are you going to do? Options. Estaba diciendo que muchos de ustedes tienen 16 años. Y esta historia dice que una muchacha se embarazó después de que se le rompió el condón. Tuvieron un accidente, no, supie, no sabían de la medicina, la pastilla del día después. Okay. ¿Cuáles son sus opciones? So, what might this person choose to become a, why might this person choose to become a parent? Why? Why will this, so let's see a 16 year old might have a parent, might be a parent. Um, because they don't believe in abortion, because they have a lot of family that can help with the baby, um, because they're like, this is what I needed. I'm going to get back in school. I'm going to push harder for the baby. Those are some options that you can become a parent as a teen. Uh, there's many options. Opciones son como, uh, tienes familia que te pueden ayudar con el baby. Okay. Estas son razones de por qué puede ser un padre. Una madre. Why might this person choose to end the pregnancy with an abortion? Parent, abortion. Why might they end it? Uh, let's see. They're not ready. Um, I'm too young. I'm barely 16 years old. Um, I'm going to abort right now, today, this time. But when I get older and I'm with them a serious relationship with I when I have a husband when I get married I'm gonna get pregnant again there's many uh, uh reasons so you have to think about reasons okay why might this person choose to make an adoption plan adoption plan open or close doesn't matter uh maybe they uh they don't believe in abortion again. It's not fair. Why will I kill a baby when it's not their fault? Maybe the neighbor wants, I know a couple that wants a baby and they can't have any. Um, there's many reasons. Hay muchas razones de por qué quieres hacer padre, abortar o adopción. So have you guys seen this movie, Juno? This is basically a 16 year old that decides, has a baby, but decides to have a closed adoption. Okay, so that means she doesn't want to do nothing with the baby, nothing. She doesn't want nothing to do with the baby. And, uh, but the adopted mother keeps a memento. That means like a memory, a picture of Juno on display in the baby's room. So let's watch a short trailer. It's like two minutes. It's a short trailer of the movie. Have you never seen the movie? Let's put the trailer. Mm. Yo, yo, yiggity, yo. I'm pregnant. What? On this block? <laughs> I've taken like three pregnancy tests and I am for shiz up the spot. How did you even generate enough pee for three pregnancy tests? I'm telling you I'm pregnant and you're acting shockingly cavalier. Is this for real? Yes. Fuket Thailand. That ain't no edge sketch. This is one doodle that can't be undid, Holmes Gillett. I think it's best to just tell him I'm pregnant. Who is the father? <laughs> Pauline Bleeker? I didn't think you had it in him. I know, right? <laughs> wow, your shorts are like especially gold today. Uh, my mom uses color safe bleach. Go, Carol. 
You should look at adoption ads. They have ads for parents. Yeah. Hi, I'm Vanessa. You must be Juno. Hi, I'm the husband. A couple of baby starved wing nuts. Dude, that thing is freaky looking. I am a sacred vessel. All you've got in your stomach is Taco Bell. You think you're really gonna do this? Yeah, but I'm guessing it looks probably like a sea monkey right now. We should let it get a little cuter, yes. right? Great. Keep it in the oven. When this is all over, we should get back together. Are you still gonna think I'm cute when I'm huge? I think you're beautiful. Did you by any chance barf in my urn? <laughs> I would never barf in your urn. <laughs> Did you see that coming when she sat us down here? Yeah, but I was hoping she was expelled or into hard drugs. You're like the coolest person I've ever met, and you don't even have to try. I try really hard, actually. You love him. Hey, you know, you could go into early labor sucking face like that. Okay, that's a good movie. I haven't seen it in years. It's pretty funny. Uh, so she has basically it didn't show in the trailer but she puts the baby for a close adoption you have to see the movie uh, that means she doesn't want to do nothing with the baby okay but the couple still wanted a picture of her if I am correct okay gotta see the movie she's 16 year old by the way all right second scenario second scenario a 27-year-old woman is pregnant but was just diagnosed with cancer. She has been trying to get pregnant for two years. However, she cannot get cancer treatment while she is pregnant because of the risk of the fetus. So when you have uh, cancer, they usually do, um, uh, what is it called? Therapy, uh, chemotherapy chemotherapy and it can kill the fetus it can uh okay so she can't get so what what are her options so decía que una señora tiene 27 años tiene cáncer y está embarazada que puede ser si agarra quimioterapia se puede se va a morir el baby okay why might this person choose to become a parent? Parent, even though she has cancer. Well, if she becomes a parent because that is her last will, because she most like she might die if she keeps up with the cancer and doesn't do nothing about it. Um, also, it's just her choice, you know, maybe family, it's just so much risk, though, if you have cancer and you have a baby, to keep the baby, okay? Es mucho, es mucho, este, es mucho riesgo tener un baby cuando tienes cancer, okay? Why might this person choose to abort? Aborto. Because she has cancer. If the only way to treat the cancer is to get chemotherapy, or some kind of radiation. Um, they usually inject something or they put two in a radiation machine. So she will have to abort if she wants to live a long life, you know? So va a tener que abortar si um, quiere agarrar quimioterapia. Okay? Y quiere vivir. What about adoption plan? Well, again, uh, because she has cancer, it might not mean that she will survive, okay? So adoption plan, maybe she has, she will put the baby for adoption if she survives or not after she live, after she dies. I'm sorry to say that, but that's the truth. That's what happens if you don't treat cancer. It just spreads doesn't it, it depends on the cancer okay like blood cancer or breast cancer talking about breast cancer we got a movie mama it's a spanish movie from spain and she has 
breast cancer and she got pregnant. Okay. Let's watch a short trailer. It's short, two minutes. Okay. It's a short trailer. I don't know if uh, they're going to have the... Um, we're back now with Penelope Cruz's powerful new role playing a woman diagnosed with breast cancer in her new Spanish film, Mama. We recently sat down to talk about what she's calling one of the most beautiful and difficult roles she's ever played. I watched this. It is a powerful movie. This is a woman who has breast cancer, but the movie's about so much more than that. Yes? So much more. I mean, it's this relationship that she has with her son her strength, her light. There is so much love in the film. There are scenes that, of course, they're gonna hurt when you watch them, but we wanted to be honest about it. As and a survivor watching it, I, I felt it. It brought me right back. Tell me about Magna, the woman you portray. Well, I, I just fell in love with her when I read the script. Even the, the moment where the doctor tells her, you, uh, you have cancer and you're gonna start the treatment tomorrow. She has the most bizarre reaction. She wants to know like, if she can keep her hair appointment. Says, yeah, I have a hair appointment. Should I cancel or should I still go? And he says, no, go. To me, this, this reflect so much like how somebody reacts when you hear these news you just want to go on with your normal you life. want things to be normal normal you want to do your little things that you had planned for your day with your family no it, it's beautiful and and this is not a spoiler in terms of the plot because after her diagnosis magna finds herself pregnant and uh, we want to take a look at the scene where she films a message to her daughter Espero que tu ahora estés. future daughter because she knows that she's gonna die if she keeps the baby so the, she is a mom she's pregnant and she has cancer she knows that if she keeps the baby she will die and basically she makes videos it's a very beautiful movie i saw it it's a very beautiful movie uh she makes videos for her future baby each a couple videos so the baby can see her after she dies messages to the baby Viva viendo este video y yo, pues no sé, dicen que no lo estaré, lo dice la ciencia médica. Ay, hija mía. You are a mother. This had to have such an impact on you as you were portraying her, speaking to this future child she would most likely never really get to yeah. know. No, that was heartbreaking. I mean, shooting those scenes, I, I would have not understand this character the same way a few years ago. For me, this is this scene that we just showed is one of the most beautiful scenes in the movie because she's talking to, to the future, no? To what this baby represents. She's saying we are alive because we are together. We are alive because of our love and because we are fighting this together. It's really beautiful. I uh, know, and it's about fighting cancer, but it's also about living with it and living while mm -hmm. you're fighting. Penelope Cruz, Thank you so much for joining us this Thank morning. you. Thank you so much. And Mama is in theaters now. And Okay. So it's a very beautiful movie. I saw it in theaters. Very beautiful. Um, it's a tearjerker. It will make you cry, maybe. You have a heart. <laughs> you should have. You, we all have a heart, you know. But uh, esta película es de que la mamá tiene cancer y se quedó con el baby pero hace videos para el baby porque sabe que se va a morir. Okay? So it's a beautiful, it's a, it's a, it's a Spanish movie, so you have to see the subtitles if, if you don't know Spanish. But I hope you, you're learning with me a little bit. Okay. So last one, last one. A 50-year-old woman uh, thought she was in menopause because Menopause is when you can't have babies anymore. You stop having your period. Because she hadn't had a period in, oh, I, I just repeated, in over a year. She was therefore surprised to learn from her doctor that she is pregnant. She already raised two children and is going to become a grandmother. Huh. So una mujer tiene 50 años, pensaba que tenía menopausia, pero salió embarazada. Y ya va a ser abuela. ¿Qué va a hacer? Okay. So, will she keep up her baby? Will she become a parent? Okay. Let's think about this. Decide. She's, a, she's 50 years old. She already has her children. She already has almost grandchildren. It's her decision, but if I was... Okay, I don't want to influence, but um, my decision, mine... 
if that was me for some weird reason, um, I wouldn't keep the baby. Why? Because the baby will most likely come with a disability, most likely. The older you get, the more chances a baby will have a disability. So, si es madre, va a poder tener una disabilidad. Es más probable gente mayor que tenga disabilidad, babies con disabilidad. So, the baby will be born with disability. Not fair for the baby. Oh, you had a great life, but what about the baby? Come on. So, that's my choice, okay? My choice. We're all different. Why might this person choose to end the pregnancy with an abortion? Abortion. Well, she already has her kids, grandkids, uh, doesn't want any risk, doesn't want a baby, risk the baby with a disability. Okay. Porque quiere tener una abortion? A lo mejor ya tiene hijos, ya tiene nietos, um, y no quiere arriesgar el baby. Que tenga una, una, um, disabilidad. Adoption, again. So adoption is with parenting. So adoption, you're too old. Uh, I can't take care of the baby. You know, it's basically her choice though. All of these options can be difficult decisions to make. That's why we think about it. We have to think, think about it, think. Okay, talk to your people, talk to your friends, to your family. This is important not to judge. It is important not to judge anyone's personal choice, even if it's not your choice. You will make. So a lot of people have abortion, and there is people that just are against abortion. They're like, no, it's bad, and they start getting angry. Talk, start talking bad about them. That's their choice. They're not ready. You know, they're just not ready, and they don't want the baby to suffer. Because there's so many kids in the world. Uh, not everybody's going to get adopted or foster home. They're just going to have a very miserable life. Maybe that's why they decide to get an abortion. Okay. Start a conversation with a trusted adult in your life. Again, uh, if you get pregnant or your girlfriend gets pregnant, talk to your people. Talk to your friends. What are some of the values that influence your beliefs about the legal options available to young person who is pregnant? Values, again, who you are. Uh, it can be religion, maybe your culture, as in you come, maybe your family, you come from a big family, you come from a tiny little family. It's who you are, so it's your choice, okay? And that's it. That's it for me. So I'm going to show you the homework. Next time we will talk about sexual transmitted infections and barrier methods, okay? Next time. Don't forget self-care. Take care of yourselves, okay? All right, let's show, I'm going to show you quickly the homework and I'll post the homework in a bit. Homework is very easy extremely easy uh watch this short video so you think you're pregnant the same video we watched what are some signs someone might get pregnant what are her signs uh miss periods cravings i don't know look at the video i don't want to give you the answers full sentences please full sentences i don't want little i don't want this i don't want this look uh Oops, missed, period. Oh, wow, I forgot mid. It's a little slow, the computer. So don't. I just don't want that missed, period. I want full sentences, please. They're easy questions, easy. And I'm gonna post a PowerPoint too if you need to watch it again, look at it. Easy questions, okay? Let me do attendance now.